Welcome everybody, my name is Harry Jacobs and I am the North of 60 Gamer and welcome. Today we are looking at Role Player Adventures. Now we did an unboxing and an un unboxing, so an un unboxing is where I've unboxed it, sorted it out, put it back on the table, unboxed it for your pleasure to see how everything was put away. Today I think we're going to start a series. Uh, I really debated how to present Role Player Adventures because it's kind of a, you don't want to be it's a narrative game and, and I'm going to give away the farm, but I don't think I'm going to give away too much because I'm boldly going where at least a couple others have already gone, uh, which is the first scenario. But what I'm going to do is try to pay particular attention to the rules and the setup and what we're doing. So I'm going to slow those bits down. So there might be occasion where I might skip over something or not read something. I don't want to give everything away to you because I want you to experience the game as well. But if you're on the post, or I should say, if you're on the fence post, this will allow you to kind of see me as I unpack the game and learn the game. So basically I have read the rules. I have watched a couple of videos. I'm still not 100% clear, but I want to present it as the way as I'm, as I'm looking at it. So I'm doing everything that I normally have done. I've watched some videos. I've unpacked it, I've organized it, now we're getting ready to play. So uh, let's go down to the table and let's start with the unpacking and getting the game ready to play. And I pulled it all out of the box, I'm going to show you what we need. And then from there we're going to set it all up. And then what we're going to do there is explain some of the components at that point and some of the rules. And then we're going to jump into some play. And we're probably going to do this over two or three videos. I'm going to keep them to, try to keep them in under 30 minutes. And so we may stop the game where it's convenient and say, well, we're going to come back and we're going to start section, the next section or the next phase. I am going to try to index the heck out of this. So if you want to skip parts where it says, well, I might say, okay, guys, if you don't want to hear me read this, just push the index and go to the next part where you might see the action or the result of whatever happened. So that is what we're going to do. So without any further ado, and I don't know why I still say that, let's get down to the table and unpack this. On It's already unpacked on the table, but let's show you the components that I'm going to need to play this game. So here we are. I have everything on the table that we need So for a two-player game, and I'm going to show you everything that we need for a two-player game. Now, you may say, why are sleeves here? I am a compulsive sleever. Everything that I can sleeve right now has been sleeved. Uh, in here, and those are the armor and the weapons, uh, traits, portraits, scrolls, and familiars, and they're all in there, and they are sleeved already. However, as we pull cards, I am going to sleeve them. Uh, I decided not to go crazy because I would be tempted to look at the cards, and it says, stop, don't look at the cards. So that's what we're doing here. Next up, a pencil and a sharpener. And you may say, why we're going to use that? Well, we are going to change values throughout the game, and we are going to need a pencil and an eraser. Next up, I'm going to show you this, and we'll show you why I have these. These are dry erase markers, and I have a laminator. So what I have done is taken the party board, and I have laminated it, and that way I can use dry erase markers, because there's only a limited amount, and at this point in time, they don't have extras up on Thunder works shop which i bought some extra character sheets but they don't have the backstory sheets or the gr group sheets or party sheets hopefully those will show up in the store eventually so starting here we have the role player adventure rule book and here is everything that comes with the game everything is sorted right here and I've already been through this. We'll go through the components as we use the components. And so we're not going to spend any time explaining what they are. But I will show you where they are in the box. And right now what we're doing is I'm guiding you through this section of the board. And this is what's going to take us to the game. So we're going to spend a few minutes just going through uh, just what's in I need to play. So this video is just what I need to play. So we have the rules. We'll put them off side. We have 36 dice. We're going to need those dice there in a bag right there. And we're going to need those dice. We have two character boards. 
We will be using two characters. So there's different rules about setup around how many characters you use. There is a solo play and there's a two, play, two characters, three and four. I went with two because I think there's more diversity in the game, uh, in, your, in your traits, where you're not pigeonholed. If I got zero or something, that could be deadly in a game. So I, I, I'm going to try to pick two complementary characters, uh, classes, and cards. So let's hope that goes well for me. And we're going to take you through that a little bit uh, in the next video uh, as we set up the board. These are the character sheets. Now, you may not see it here, but on these boards here, there's a slip, and we slip these into here, just like that. And we'll see that a little bit closer. These are the backstory boards. So this is the paper that we use for the backstory. Now, the core game doesn't come with the alignment. So in this game, we are going to play, hopefully there's room, to be able to play with the alignment. And, and that gives us the backstory of our characters. And as they get to different adventures and locations, their alignment may change. These are the alignment boards. So we have two of the alignment boards. Here's our backstory. We'll pick a, a type, like it could be a wanderer or an outcast or a soldier. Who knows what it is? We'll have to look a little closer. Down here, it looks familiar, like the original game. You'll move your cube around. And here you're going to have the adventure and location. So in spots, the characters in certain adventures in certain spots will have to read from the adventure book. Next up, this is the map, and we are going to do the Battle of Black Lake. If I had a bigger laminate, I probably would do that. These are our visiting places, and here and here is where we're going to uh, find some encounters. Uh, we don't know what they will be until we move there. So that is the map as we get ready to play. This is the Tome of Encounters. So we're not going to look at that, but this is where we're going to get some encounters. So we're going to read probably in three, at least three different places. And this is in the Tome of Encounters. And, in the, and let's pull this out from the bottom. The Battle of Black Lake, that is the adventure that we're going to go on. And here is the, oh my god, the Backstory Codex from the expansion. And we will be reading and we will pick a some sort of backstory. Here we got a gatekeeper, we have a transporter, we have a street urchin, servant, savage, celestial. Who knows what we're going to play, I haven't decided yet. Down here, we will do checks. So it'll, the game may say, hey, we need a charm check. And so what we're going to do, you can see we need purple and white. It looks like uh, white dice uh, to, and a 3, 2, 1. And it'll say charm, 1. And, they, and we have to beat this maximum 4 dice. And there's concealment and endurance. And we'll talk more when we get to it. I may try another one. This didn't laminate flat or I'll put it between some books. But this is the party board. Now, I have laminated for dry erase, and so we'll be able to write our keywords in, and we'll be able to dry erase these things and use this a million times. Uh, this is our King's Favor, or our Favor track, so the King, Starlet, and Dragul. There we got our gold, we have our experience, we will pick up tiles, uh, titles, I mean. We have our play limit, which is cards. We, each of us will start with two we can play two cards from our hand, plus a bonus play if we need it. And then our combat dice limit starts at three. And then uh, our campaign track, our mastery track, so we can buy attributes. And we'll talk more about that as we play. This is the death track. Yeah, apparently, they don't expect you to more dead die. Apparently, they don't expect you to die more than 10 times. Uh, apparently, they don't know me very well. So that's kind of what one side of what we're going to do. In this set, we'll start here. You can see we have our bandits. And these are our monster cards, and here, here are our reference cards. So we have reference cards, and we'll take a little closer look at those. I'll take a picture and we'll put them up so you can see them a little better. 
These are the monster cards, and you can see the monster cards are not sleeved. I should look and see if I do have some sleeves for this. I'm not quite sure what size they are. They're a little weird. But they are numbered on the back. And so the adventure might say, take number 10, and we'll go through that to number 10, and we'll pick number 10, which is a dragon king. And we'll talk more about combat as we get there. These are modifiers. So in some comments, they'll say, uh... Pick a modifier, and it might be cornered. So that is what's in that, and we will be using these. Next up is these little books. So we'll be using these because we're using the expansion. Some locations will have these eyes on them, and then when we get there, we will read certain parts of the book based on our backstory. Here we have our stamina dice, our experience, our rest token. We have our extra card uh, play. We have our gold. We have numbered tokens here. And we'll have a number of these on the board. The setup will tell us in the first adventure, it's just number one and number two. Uh, and then uh, explanation marks, which I have no clue for at this point. Uh, I'm sure that it will be in the rules somewhere. I, just haven't got, I hadn't seen it. It probably isn't one of the story. I will explain here. We'll take this off very briefly. They, these are all sleeved right now. There's 41 different characters that you can play here. These are for the alignment. These are for your factions. They go on the group board. These are your basically your archetypes like uh, warrior, priest, uh, bard, conjurer. And your cards will tell you that. And again, we will uh, go through that when I, we go through uh, picking your character. Now, there's two ways of bringing your character to the board. The first way is doing one of the pre-maids. Uh, unfortunately, my role player is buried somewhere in that area of the room. And if you've ever seen my room, it is like wall-to-wall -wall games with on the floor now. And it's I've run out of room, basically, and my wife is looking at me to call my games. I was ha op ha hoping to open the Board Game Cafe this year, and a lot of these games are going to be moved over into that inventory. But that's that. Oh, and our group token, a very, very nice little mini, because uh, you play as a group. And then, whoa. Now you have to be careful. I did have a little bending uh, in one card, but uh, it's okay. We're good. And lastly, we have the various cards. We have the rare cards. So this is from the expansion. This is the rare card that came with the core game. These are the title cards. And these are the discovery cards. The discovery cards go away at the end of the game. But any armor or anything like that that you buy, and you, we will be able to buy games. Uh, sorry, we will be able to buy cards, buy experience, upgrade attributes, get more dice, get more cards, all that kind of thing. Uh, we just have to be able to afford them. So we have to do really, really well. One of the neat things in the game is just because you end, the, even if you go to the end, once you get to the story, the end, you can still explore. So if you feel that you need to go go to another location, you can do that in this game. It's a little bit of an open sandbox style, so you, there's not, not a problem going in and doing that. And over here are the round tokens. So each battle, if I show you a battle card here real quick here, there's the bandits. So you can see each uh, round, nothing happens. If you have to defeat the bandit by the time the round is over so you have ones and then if you move your round here you lose one gold you lose two gold so each as the game goes along you're going to lose gold or you're going to lose experience or you're going to lose fatigue and fatigue is we're going to explain that but fatigue is your main life and if ever the um if ever the fatigue is greater than your actual health and you can buy more health, uh, you will lose the game. You fall down exhausted. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, the game is over. It just means that other things are going to happen. Now, you will be in that exhausted state until you can rest and then buy back some, basically use some experience to get back some stamina. And uh, if you both go down, that is the end of the game. And, and I think you that is it. And, you know, bad things happen. 
So uh, without any furtherness of this, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to now take all this and we're going to organize it and put it out. And then we're going to choose some characters. So the next video that we're going to do is we're going to go through a couple of these characters and pick out our backstories and our boards and we're going to set those all up. And so we're going to have all our maps set up uh, and we'll be ready to go. So the next video is basically the character creation. Unfortunately, my role player is put away. I don't know quite how I'm going, I could, how I'm, I would unbury it to get it out so that we could play it. So this is the end of this segment. I hope this was meaningful, meaningful to you. Um, so if you like what you saw, please hit the like, really subscribe. There's plenty of you in that role player universe. Uh, show me a little bit of, a, you know, just show me some love by hitting the subscribe button. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me if this was useful. If you're not somebody who's playing role player, but you're monitoring and working on the boards, come have a look. Watch my unboxing. So this is the second video. And then here, the next one, we're going to set up the board and we're going to do character creation. So that is all for now. My name is Harry Jacobs. I am the North of 60 Gamer, and I do hope we'll see you in the next video.